My name is Nicholas Nikrian. I uh, joined Deutsche Telekom 18 months ago uh, and I'm responsible for part of the wholesale activities that is voice messaging, mobile solutions, mobile enablement, as well as emerging solutions which is CPaaS and Omnichannel and cloud communications for the international aspect part of wholesale. For me, what, what's the most exciting part of it is, the, is the, of course, the te technology shift. We are moving into 5G now. Uh, there are already discussions around 6G, even though we haven't even experienced this. Uh, that part of it is very fascinating for me. All the opportunities that this brings, as well as the complexities uh, and, and, and some of the pain points that it brings. I think we all need to go through this transformation successfully, uh, especially as telcos. When you look at the IoT activities and the machine-to-machine -machine activities that 5G can create, which we didn't have with 4G. I think those opportunities are very, very exciting. Uh, for me personally, the complexity that it creates, I, I get a kick out of that. I think it's, 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 it makes us think out of the box. I think it's inevitable that it's going to continue to increase uh, as Again, as you said, 2G, 3G sunsets happening. If you were in US last May, you must have experienced the pains that we all went through landing and getting, getting, a, uh, getting a message that we no longer have access to uh, for roaming. Uh, I think the, the question for me more is how do we manage this transformation? Uh, because depending on each region of the world, of course, this is not going to happen all simultaneously. So how you manage this transformation, how do you make sure that the experience for the customer is seamless? And also the experience for the mobile operators is as painless as possible. And that's why I think operators and carriers such as Deutsche Telekom Global Carrier come in to create that seamlessness for the customers and to get rid of the pain points for the mobile operators through this sunset. There are a few, in my opinion. The uh, first one I can think of is the operational pain points. I mean, going through just getting your contracts in place when it comes to 5G standalone, that takes, that takes time, that takes years. Uh, how do you manage that from a uh, physical interconnection perspective, everything works? How do you make sure that from a, a physical perspective, everything is working? How do you make sure that when your customers are roaming, the value-added services that you are procured, that you have procured or you're procuring actually work when the customer in, is in every country that they go to. So I think these the operational pains that mobile operators have to go through and it, it's a big part of it. At the same time, in terms of creating customer loyalty and make sure, making sure that the seamlessness for the customer is there, while you are working on reducing your costs because the revenue is not that easy to come. So you're also t looking at operational efficiencies in your environment, how do you make sure you don't lose that part of your uh, the, the, the technical ability? And I think that's, again, that's where Deutsche Telekom Global Carrier comes in to, to, to take that part of it away. Uh, return on investment for me is a big issue uh, for mobile operators right now. How much do I spend and how long does it take for me to actually you know, get the money out of my expenditure? Uh, go to market. Uh, you, you have to be much, much quicker in your go to market environment. Um, how can I create that go-to-market as fast as possible? And I think partnerships in this, in this new era are the solution to go because you cannot, mobile operators are very, very good at understanding their customer base and making sure that they keep the loyalty and they keep away the churn. And I think by, by making sure that they focus on that part of it and then give the rest to others that are very, very good at that and that's what they're Therefore, I think that for me is the key to go uh, to take away some of these pain points. You know, of course, ev everybody knows post-COVID human traffic and, uh, and uh, human roaming traffic is increasing and will continue to increase. I think when it comes to 5G, 5G standalone, it's critical to make sure, as I mentioned before, that the value-added solutions, value-added services that you, you need to provide to those customers are being addressed and are managed well. Uh, I think that's, that's a big prioritization that needs to happen for mobile operators. I think the next level, of course, is the machine-to-machine -machine and the IoT part of it, because that is going to explode over the next many years. Fraud 
is a big issue. Security is a big issue in 5G uh, environment. So how you manage that to make sure that that part of your business is, is well run and, and prioritized and optimized. Also, the, the, again, the, on the IoT part of it, the machine to machine, everybody knows that making money out of this business is not easy. I mean, the, 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 uh, it's, it's very much commoditized to a large extent. But I think 5G brings a lot of opportunities into this. When you look at quality on demand, for instance, some, something that 5G does bring as, as, as an intrinsic value into this. And I think creating these different commercial models for the different traffic profiles that you have, be it for your customer base or be it for machine to machine, creates a lot of opportunities for operators to increase their revenues. As I mentioned earlier, I think our job is to make sure that we make it as seamless of an experience for customers while they are roaming, for customers or mobile operators. And on the other side, make it as painless as possible for the operators to really be successful in this, in this area. One of the things that I see as a huge value add for us as, at TGC is that we are part of a very large mobile operator group. So we understand the pain points. Um, and we know what it takes in order to, to, to mitigate those pain points. So from that perspective, we bring a lot of value. We bring a lot of experience from our own parents, basically for our own company, into, into this value chain. Um, and um, we are doing quite a lot of uh, POCs right now for 5G, on 5G standalone, um, ac across all regions of the world. I think that's how we learn from it, how we adapt and then how we share that experience with other mobile operators who want to engage. I think that's something that we bring definitely into it. Uh, besides 5G, of course, and besides roaming, again, we are also moving up the value chain. We are engaged in CPaaS. Uh, we are engaged in omni-channel solutions right now that we offer, we offer to the market. Our roaming value-added services that also have to change with 5G in that respect. We're very, very active in, in, in creating that environment, uh, again, to make it to create more revenue for the mobile operators from a roaming perspective. And the fraud part of it, that we are very, very innovative when it comes to fraud management part of it, to make sure not only on the customer side of it, but also on the machine to machine part of it, we manage that. I think these values that we bring into the, into the ecosystem, into the value chain, will be very, very valuable to the mobile operators to engage with partners like us, again, in order to increase their revenues while they are creating more efficiency in their operational activities.